back to Fox 43 AM Live. I'm joined now by Pam Evans with the Family Service and Guidance Center of Topeka. Pam, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate you stopping on by here. Now, we heard that you completely sold out of tickets for the Meals for Mental Health fundraiser. We featured it on our show previously right. here. Can you tell us about that event and how it feels knowing that the community cares enough to completely sell out of that fundraiser? Yes, it is so fantastic. Texas Roadhouse has been a longtime partner of ours, and they are amazing to work with. Um, you know, just knowing Family Service and Guidance Center has been around since 1904, so we have helped thousands. Yeah. Hundreds, probably hundreds of thousands over the years. And both businesses and individuals just always rally around helping those that are currently struggling. So we're just blessed and, and so thankful. Yeah, that is so huge. Congratulations to you Thank and the you. team. That's gotta mean so much to, to really hit that mark so early on. Yeah. I love to see it. Yeah. Well, what can you tell us here about the upcoming parenting classes and what can people expect from them? Yeah, we have another uh, eight week free parenting class uh, starting on October 28th. And, uh, you know, we realize parenting is so hard, especially yeah. these days. And some some folks get to a point where you know they've tried everything and they need some new ideas some new tools some new approaches and that's what this class uh, gives them it meets um, every monday for eight weeks uh, starting on october 28th for an hour and a half each time pretty incredible here and we don't want to spoil what the class entails there but are there uh, any specific arenas regarding parenting that you can tease to uh, those that might stop on by sure so you know i mean it's so stressful um and you know it just gives parents and caregivers the confidence and like i say new tools new approaches to challenges that continue to um, pop up or yeah. maybe new challenges so uh, and it gives them things it gives the the caregivers ideas that they can leave with and put into action that evening so wow super that, that's helpful. so huge yeah. yeah incredible well does it cost anything to be a part of that class there yeah i am so thankful to to say happy to say that this is free and open to anyone in the community so if anyone's kind of tried everything and and needs some new ideas you know who really want to just build the relationship with their kids that's for them that's what we're here for to support in any way we can um, to get signed up. We do require pre-registration because space is limited. Um, folks just go to fsgctopeka.com forward slash parenting to get signed up. Well, perfect. Well, you mentioned there that it's it's open to everybody, mm -hmm. but would you recommend that uh, mostly parents partake of this or would you also give a shout out to caretakers uh, that should stop on by that class as well? Absolutely. You know, anyone who works with kids, um, you know, foster families, grandparents who might be raising uh, grandchildren, anyone who is raising a, a child or teen at this time, it is a, a, a great opportunity to to get some new tools, some new um, new help, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's I mean, the best way to put it. Like you mentioned, there any additional resource that uh, people with kids or with you know young people in their lives can use to engage with them on a deeper level. It it only helps. Yeah, and you know they get to talk to other parents and other caregivers who are in the same boat, but sometimes it feels like you're going it alone. So yeah. that's another super um, important feature of, yeah. of those classes. So Definitely, and that'll be so huge for those in the community. Pam, thank you again for joining us here and showcasing uh, that upcoming uh, service coming from Family Service and Guidance Center. Really appreciate it. Yeah, happy to be here. Of course, and coming up ahead, we'll hear from one local decorator about how you can do some simple things to make your house feel homey.